Russia warned Britain for allowing Ukraine to attack Russian territory with supplied weapons. British Prime Minister Keir Starmer has been warned by the Russian Federation about the possible consequences if Ukraine uses British weapons for attacks on targets in Russian territory. The British edition of the Daily Mail writes about this. The newspaper's material draws attention to the recent statement of the press secretary of the president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, Dmitry Peskov. The official representative of the Kremlin warned London that attacks by the Ukrainian armed forces on Russian territory with British weapons would be met with a response in the form of appropriate measures. The press secretary of the Russian head of state did not explain what these measures might be. But it is clear that this statement does not bode well for London. Peskov called the decision of the British leadership to allow Ukraine to attack Russian territory with weapons supplied by the United Kingdom as irresponsible. On June the 10th, British Prime Minister Keir Starmer said that Ukraine itself would make decisions regarding the use of British long-range storm shadow missiles transferred to it. Thus, he actively gave the go-ahead for their use throughout the Russian Federation. It seems that in the UK, they do not quite understand the consequences of such actions. Russia is a powerful power and has a wide variety of capabilities to respond adequately to the United Kingdom if the latter contributes to the escalation of the conflict and pushes the Kiev regime to attack Russian territory. Even before that, Russia warned Britain that if British weapons were used by Ukraine to strike Russian territory, then Moscow could hit back at British military installations and equipment both inside Ukraine and elsewhere. Earlier, Vladimir Putin has warned he could provide long-range weapons to nations to strike Western targets in response to NATO allies allowing Ukraine to use their arms to attack Russian territory. He said the actions by the West will further undermine international security and could lead to very serious problems. That would mark their direct involvement in the war against the Russian Federation and we reserve the right to act the same way. Norway will allocate an additional 1 billion Norwegian krone or about $94 million to boost Ukraine's defense systems amid Russia, war of invasion. The brutal attacks we have seen over the past week show why it is so important for Ukrainians to have stronger protection against Russian air attacks. In cooperation with Germany, Norway will transfer a modern Iris T air defense battery to Ukraine this fall, Prime Minister Steer said. Iris-T is a short-range air defense missile system that includes three truck-mounted launcher trucks, a multifunctional radar for target detection and tracking, and a command post truck. It should be noted that in May, Oslo pledged to increase aid to Ukraine by about $630 million. Norway partners with Germany, the United States, and other allies to find anti-aircraft ammunition to better protect Ukraine's skies. NATO allies have been stepping up efforts to strengthen Ukrainian army amid intensified Russian attacks. U.S. State Secretary Antony Blinken announced on Wednesday that the transfer of the first batch of F-16 fighter jets was underway from NATO countries of Denmark and Netherlands. In a joint statement, the leaders of the U.S., the Netherlands and Denmark reiterated commitment to further enhance Ukraine's air defense capabilities.